PJ Manny. And I write near term science fiction, which is, as many people here can attest, not so much fun anymore because the craziness of our time, the acceleration of progress and the acceleration of strange turns of events has made it hard for near-term writers like myself to keep up. So I wrote a book called Revolution, published in 2015. It was nominated for a Philip K. Dick Award. And uh, there's a sequel, Identity, and I'm finishing the third book of the trilogy, Conscience, which should be out early next year. I also write nonfiction, uh, both academic papers uh, in the space of empathy creation through storytelling, and uh, one's called Empathy in the Time of Technology, How Storytelling Creates Empathy. The other one is Yucky Gets Yummy, How Speculative Fiction Creates Society. And through those works, I've studied how we as storytelling species have taken stories that have once frightened us turned them around, made them our own stories, and now the people who we once feared are now our heroes. Uh, so back in 2018, I was on a panel with Nisi and Elsa Schoenusson, I have no idea how to pronounce her last name, and Gordon Van Gelder. And it was called Science Fiction of the Time of President Trump. And it was an extraordinary event for me. It was actually one of those epiphanies when has in your life. And we were talking within a, a setting where none of us were bashing politics. What we were coming to was this idea that the stories we had been telling were inadequate, that we had trained an entire generation of young people to see the world through dystopic eyes. So they knew that they were, they were prepared to fight the problem was we never told them what they were fighting for. We knew what we were fighting against, the bad guy. But the world that we were trying to create at the end of many of these incredibly famous and wildly successful franchises is either the status quo or we don't really know, or they're crushed by the system. So we had this moment of, why are we not all doing something that flies in the face of dystopic stories? And if we can create new myths, new metaphors, you know, it was Joseph Campbell who said to change the story, you have to change the myth and change the metaphor. And that there's no way to come up with new solutions until we actually come up with a way to reframe the story. Mm -hmm.